Da -na 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 -na. Hey! Welcome to Coco Sports New Japan G1 review. I've been failing. I was trying to do one day, one review, but no, I have to double up. Just real life's getting away. I'm a little loopy, so hopefully this does good. I'm not doing it live because something seems to be going on with my computer. So hopefully, um, hopefully this still does good. A lot, a lot of things are different. Um, this is our day 12 and day 13 reviews. Plus, I, I want to read a little blog and respond to it by senior at on Twitter at senior Larito. Sorry for mispronouncing that because I'm an idiot. Um, he just brings up a great point about New Japan fans, and it's kind of interesting. I agree with some points, disagree with others, but here's my review. Um, I'm Dave Coco. I'm so, I'm so messing up with these intros lately. I used to be on a roll. I used to be like the intro king. Let's regroup. Ah, take two. Welcome to Coco Sports New Japan G1 Day 12 and 13 Reviews. I am the huge one, a.k.a. the idiot Dave Coco from CocoSports.com or KOCOSports.net. It's where the world comes to kick ass, your home for combat sports, and above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. Let's talk Day 12, shall we? All right, we're just going to, uh, well, I guess, yeah, we'll just talk about the tournament matches. I'm sorry that I don't break down the, the preseason NFL games. Um, the, they're, they're pretty good matches, but at the same time, it's good matches that don't seem to count. Um, I don't know about you, but as soon as it goes to intermission and it goes right into the block, it, it heads out. So let's do day 12 first. We always ask win, loss, or tie. And I apologize that I'm real loopy. I have not slept in like 48 hours. Writing books is hard. Writing books ain't easy. <laughs> All right, let's let's break this down. All right, so day 12, here we go. Um, you got Nagata versus Michael Elgin. Elgin wins with an Elgin bomb. Uh, Michael Elgin, uh, it's funny because you see Ring of Honor fans still talking trash about him, but man, what a great G1 he's having. I enjoyed it. You got Homa versus Carl Anderson, and just people are going Homa crazy. Just absolutely crazy here in Japan. Um I don't know about you, but I, I, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people and we root for them, but I don't know if I want to see them win. I don't know. There, might, there might be a win later on in um, the G1 tournament. But I don't know. There's something about it. Just having great matches and not winning. That's absolutely amazing. Um, Anderson wins with the gun stun, about 12 minute match. Um, then you got Kojima versus Goto. Goto wins following, um, yeah, at the 13-minute mark. And then you get to the Chaos Madness. You got Nakamura versus Takahashi. Nakamura wins with 10 minutes. This is the first time since the injury that Nakamura is almost at 100%. He really sold the elbow injury. He really, or, or he's really injured. It's tough, it's tough call. But it seems like Nakamura is almost 100%. Um, I do live in Japan. I do teach a lot of kids. Um, Saturday morning, I volunteer. I, 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 you know, teach, just teach. I'm around a lot of kids. Context is everything. Um, but everyone's talking about Okada and Nakamura. And it's just crazy living here how, how over Nakamura is and just people talking about it. Um, I've been teaching at these schools, you know, the Saturday schools for like maybe maybe seven years now and no one's ever talked about new Japan. No one's really ever talked about pro wrestling before. And now that's all anyone keeps talking about is Nakamura Okada. And you know, people are going crazy. So I think it will be I, Nakamura, I think should win it, but I don't, I don't know because of how legit the injury is. Will dun dun dun, dun Tanahashi take over? <clears throat> but this match was really good. And then you have Okada versus Ishii. This was an amazing, amazing match. Um, Okada does win about the 17 minute mark. Um, hits him with the Rainmaker. Um, I I enjoyed this match. I'm a huge Chaos fan, so this was a great night for Chaos. A lot of great matches. And this is the last day of the hard cam. The last day of the one cam shoot, which you know, it, it's tough because you're so happy that, you know, we'll talk about this in, um, in the last segment, but it's so tough because, you know, you want New Japan to succeed and they're making steps and bounds, but at the same time, I don't want to ever see a one cam hard shot. It, it's, 
It's horrible. It takes away from the matches. It takes away from the experience. And I just think New Japan, the G1, is too big now. I, I really do. And I know there's a lot of New Japan fans that, you know, they defend them blindly. But we don't want to be TNA fans. We want New Japan to improve. We want New Japan to be amazing. But we just don't want to be so positive and so denial that it actually hurts the company. I think we should have complaints. We should have, um, you know, some feedback on it. And I, I think if enough people say, like, that one camera shoot, that's unacceptable. The G1 is so important. The New Japan is growing. You're on Access TV. You're going to be at NXT. You're going to be at Ring of Honor. You have a working deal with NWA. You're, you're sending people to Europe. Um, you know, I remember going on Twitter. I remember going on YouTube talking New Japan Wrestling. And I felt, and I've said this before, but I felt like Will Smith in the, that movie with the shitty ending. Um, but no, I felt like I was out on a dock and I just reported, I'm like, hey, anyone watch New Japan? Anyone out there watch New Japan? You tweet, anyone out there watching New Japan? And there was nobody. You know, you had a couple, um, a couple forums talking about it, but I, I lived in Japan and by the time they saw it, it's already really old. That's why Access TV doesn't really interest me because that's like a year old content now for me. So I'm glad New Japan is growing, but I, I just think they're the second biggest company in the world and the best wrestling company in the world. And I don't want to be a fan that doesn't give them bad feedback. Because here's the thing. I, I'm a fat guy who's been yelling about New Japan for a really long time. If someone comes to watch New Japan on the hard cam shows with the lights blaring in your face and missing a lot of the outside moves and hard to see, people are not coming back. You know, Jakara just gave out a free content and it wasn't that good. And I don't know how many people are coming back to Jakara, so it'll be very, very interesting. Um, I think New Japan, you have a growing audience. The Bullet Club, Ring of Honor, Liger at NXT. I just think right now is the time to move. And I know New Japan likes to play it safe because they're number one in Japan. But I think they have to step it up. I think they need English commentary. And like that's the thing. A lot of people are like, well, it's a lot better than it used to be. But no, they're a giant, giant company that I think can do very, very well. I know they're playing it safe. They don't want to, you know, lose their ass. But, you know, there's tons of English-speaking nerds. Just fucking grab an English-speaking nerd in Tokyo. I don't know about me. I'm all loopy and stuff, but I'm sure there's other ones. And, and go and just have them go and teach them and talk, and it would be amazing. And all that, but you could probably get a Carino or a Striker to come here and do it. Um, I don't know about JR. He'll probably want too much money. But... You know, f find someone that's absolutely amazing with it and go with it and just take a chance. Um, because I think the people that watch your product that love pro wrestling really, really love it. And I, I just think you're too big of a company um, to, to be doing this. And I hate to focus on this, but really, um, I remember I was watching it and my daughter walked in. This is a hundred percent shoot. My daughter walked in and she's like, Oh, that's cool. Someone's recording. Someone's recording it for you on their iPhone. She legit thought it was streaming on someone's iPhone. Like it was a, a fan cam. That That's insane. There's local indies, uh, you know, uh, uh, local indies 10, 15 years ago doing better than this. In New Japan, there's no excuse for this. And I know people like to get on their team and not debate them. And I, I wish in sports, in politics, in pro wrestling, attack what you love and be honest because then it improves. If everyone goes, oh, well, it's just New Japan or, oh, well, it's just it's better than what it used to be, there's no improving. I, I think they have to improve. Um I just think, you know, you re-signed with Axis, you, you have Ring of Honor, you have NWA, you got NXT. I just think it has to happen, you know. And, you know, there was Japanese rumors, and this was on Japanese blogs, so take it for what it is, that WWE wants to buy stock in New Japan. And there's rumors, and these are just rumors, but still, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. I think you have to present it better. You have to. Um... 
not just for me because I can just turn on Samurai TV. I can just go to the live events in Tokyo. But you need to do it for your new fan base. I mean, there's so many new fans out there. I mean, you we're having conversations on Twitter in English about New Japan. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. I just remember, you know, a couple years ago, hey, what's going on G1? Go fuck yourself, Dave. All right, moving on, moving on. So please, New Japan, never again. You know, according to the schedule, this was supposed to be the last hard cam shot. I never want to see a hard cam shot again, uh, ever again. I mean... Especially for the G1. Maybe a house show here and there. But, yeah. To, to me, it's just too important and you're too big. And you should be better than that. And, um, alright, so next we'll go to day 13. Day 13 was kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't know, I got mixed feelings. I'm still going to give it a win. But, you know, the, the main event was kind of weird. But let's break it down. Bad luck fail. Bad luck luck fail i just not only there you know there's doc gallows who i don't think should be in a g1 i think yano i don't know yano's weird but i, I think yano might be the stick like you have to be more entertaining and better than yano um and I, I don't think bad luck fail should be in the company i mean he might be a great guy he gets carried to some really good matches but i i just i just it blows my mind that Gato and the rest of the crew are is booking this guy to be a fucking legit wrestler. It's like, all right, so go and watch New Japan. It's the best wrestling in the world. And then you see Bad Luck fail. I, I just, I don't get it. I know he went through the dojo. I know he used to be Prince Devitt's chair. And he might be one hell of a guy. I, I, I don't know, maybe in my heart of hearts, I just hold G1 to too high of a standard. But Bad Luck fail beats... Abushi in the first match. How how effing crazy is that? That just blows my mind away. I, I, like, I sat there in shock. You know, like, Bad Luck Fail. Bad Luck Fail has, is tied for first place right now. That's insane. It should not be that way. It just should not be that way. Next, you got Naito and uh, Yano. Uh, Naito wins. They tried to out cheat each other. Then you had AJ Styles versus Tenzin. Um, I enjoyed this match a lot. About thirteen, about thirteen and a half minutes with a calf killer. Um, and I thought this was. I thought the A block was been a lot better than the B block. But I thought this might be the worst night of A block action. Um, and just in my humble opinion. Um, AJ versus Tenzin was very interesting, and just AJ style. I mean, just some of the wrestlers they have on the roster. I've said this at plenty of, but if I ranked the top ten wrestlers in the world, I think six or seven of them are in New Japan. I, I really believe that. And you know, there's a couple products I don't watch enough. I don't watch Pro Wrestling Gorilla enough. Um, I don't watch all Japan enough. There, there's products I don't watch enough, so, you know, there has to be a little asterisk on it. But, you know, out of the products I watch, and I watch a lot of pro wrestling, and I review a lot of pro wrestling, and um, it's just, I'm, I'm just passionate and obsessed with it. I'm a student of the game. And, um, you know, I just, it's just, I honestly think if you, if I ranked the top ten wrestlers in the world, Six or seven of them would be on the New Japan roster. And, and you, they should be having way better matchups than this. This fucking blew my mind. Doc Gallows was in the semi-main event of the card. I, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm player hating? I just, I don't get it. I even tweeted out, I blame the people that buy Bullet Club shirts that really don't watch New Japan for this. That's on, that's on That blood's on your hands, pal. Uh, Makabe does get the win. Thank Terry Funk. He hits the King Kong knee drop. It was only nine minutes long. And I just think, you know, Tonga, um, and maybe another Ring of Honor guy, hit up a couple of those pro wrestling Noah guys. Um, possibly, maybe Ricochet. I don't know. So I hope next year, from top to bottom, it's an amazing tournament. And it's been a really good tournament. And, you know, they've always had, you know, big guys, comedy guys in the G1. But as a fan, you dream of the best. And 
you replace three or four of these wrestlers with four wrestlers they have access to, this might be the greatest G1 of all time. I, I mean, and maybe that's what we get next year. It would be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I, I just don't, you know, I, I just don't think they're worthy enough. It's just my opinion. Next, you have Tanahashi versus Shibata. I thought this match started off slow, but it was amazing uh, technical wrestling, I guess, you know, ground wrestling, and it built and told a story. It had slow builds, and the internet absolutely loved it. Um, I, you know, I tweeted this out, and a couple people retweeted me. I think Tanahashi he wins at the wrong times and breaks your heart, and you want to be mad at him like John Cena. But you can't be because he's such a great wrestler. It's such a weird thing. I know people were arguing and debating on Twitter last night. You know, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't think Tanahashi should have run Wrestle Kingdom 9. I don't think Tanahashi should have won here. And there's a couple other matches where Tanahashi, Tanahashi shouldn't have won, in my opinion. I think it's time to pass the torch. I know there's a lot of Tanahashi fans out there. But there's also a lot of people turning on him. And... You know, I kind of want to go off on him as a fan. I mean, I was so heartbroken. Um, he just gets a quick, I guess, counter pinfall roll up. I don't know what to exactly call it, but it's like a surprise victory. And it just broke my heart because I thought for sure Shibata was going to win. I mean, last year going into the G1 um, publicly and on free television, Shibata was pushed to the moon. And I was just a little heartbroken. I, I feel like sometimes Tanahashi is the John Cena of uh, of New Japan. It's just that he's so awesome, so it's such a weird feeling. You're like, I fucking hate you, but you're such a great wrestler. Um, so, I don't know, it's such a weird relationship I have with Tanahashi. My, my, my son asked me, why do I hate Tanahashi? And I told him, no man should be that beautiful. But um, it goes about 22 minutes. And some people are calling it the best match of the G1. And I think a lot of people get really excited just because the G1 has so many great matches. They have like usually one or two great matches a night. And people get so excited. And they're like, wow, this is such great wrestling. Match of the year, five stars and all that. And um, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. I'm glad people are enjoying it. But at the same time, I don't want New Japan fan. I want New Japan fans to grow. I really do. I, I think it's amazing. If you do English reviews, if you do anything in English, even in Japanese, but I don't doubt anyone's going to watch this channel that knows Japanese. But if you do it, there's no video reviews, there's no links, and you know, YouTube will probably definitely put you in spam. But yeah, just just put it down in the links below, and I'll accept it. I think slowly but surely we got to build a community, and we build a community um, of English-speaking New Japan fans. That then New Japan will improve, and you know who doesn't want the best wrestling in the world, in my, my opinion, to grow. But at the same time, I just don't want to be delusional and be like, "Oh, everything is awesome," when, when it's not. I think a lot of New Japan fans are a little light on the guys, but. It, I don't know. I, I just, as a fan of New Japan, I sometimes get angry because I'm like, you have the best talent in the world. Go for it. Make your move. Um, so it, it should be really interesting. But overall, I think it's a can't-miss match. Um, very, very awesome match. They were beating the hell out of each other, and I definitely think it's match of the night. Some people call it match of the tournament. I don't know if I'd go that far, but the A Blocks had some great matches and Okada and Nakamura in the B block are so so popular all right let's break down current standings now to watch this oh I forgot I should have plugged this earlier a new Japan world it's only 999 yen they're not a sponsor but you can just go check it out for 999 yen an American I think that's eight dollars and change you get it's just like WWE Network you get all the pay-per-views and you get all the um a lot a lot of classic content and you you know the G1 itself, you know, people lose their mind over getting SummerSlam for nine nine ninety nine. You can get the whole G1, you know, for less than you know nine bucks American. So it's absolutely amazing. All right, let's hit current standings, and then I want to read Laritos um, Elo thing because it's it, it's very interesting. Um, oh, so you got A Block, you have Nato, Tanahashi, AJ Styles, and Bad Luck Fail. 
who tied for first place with 10 points. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, life's not fair. <laughs> That's all that shows to me. It's absolutely crazy. Then you got Shibata and Makabe with uh, eight points. You got a Bushi with six. That's crazy. Shib Shib Shibata, I sorry, I'm slaughtering his name. I'm I haven't slept in a while. Mak Makabe, Abushi, these guys have less points than Bad Luck Fail. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to be a player hater. It's just, <laughs> just come on, man. It's insane. Tenzin and Doc Gallows on the bottom with two. Okada is in the lead of the B block all by himself with ten points. Um, then you got Ishii, Nakamura, and Goto with eight. Um, you got Carl Anderson, Elgin with eight. So it, it, it's the B blocks. It's so, it's so great. It's so weird because like some people are complaining because the points are so close, especially the Japanese um, speaking blogs are complaining that it's so close that it felt like the other days didn't matter. But it, if you feel that way, I just think you're missing out on so many great stories and so many so much drama and so many great matches. Then you got Takahashi and Kojima with four points each, Nagata with two, and Homa with zero. So Homa, Nagata, Kojima have you put them all together, they have less points than bad luck fail. That that's insane. That's insane. I, I just <sighs> New Japan booking tells you life isn't fair. All right, so the next event will be tonight on New Japan Pro Rest. I mean, New Japan World. Hopefully, you can check it out. Um, I don't do live comments, obviously, because it's not live. So instead, I'm gonna read Loretto's um, LO post and try to try to respond to it and just give my opinion because some things uh, are, you know, he does a great job with the gifts and he's such a huge um, Pro Rest fan and he brings up a really interesting column. I'll put a link down to doobly do below um show him some love follow him on twitter but he says i don't enjoy seeing the elitism that can sometimes provide japanese wrestling fandom and i don't know if it's elitism as and i don't think this is a new japan type thing um now granted if you go to a japanese pro rest bar um we have more conversations people people ain't as nasty or they're not as not willing to not listen to other people. Like a lot of times people think facts, you know, they have to be a hundred percent right all the time. Everyone has to be an expert. No one can just be a fan. And I, I think that, I think that hurts pro wrestling in Japan, pro wrestling for a long time. And then the UFC goes through this too. It's just growing pains. Um, everyone wants their company to do well. And then when it does really well, they're mad about the new fans, but also, on the other hand of the book is you'll have WWE people or new fans not respect or just act like experts as soon as they walk in. I just think be a fan, be passionate, have opinions, and realize there are people that are smarter than you. Um, he says it's kind of disheartening to be honest. First, you got the typical I knew about it before it was cool. Backlash against New Japan now that it's gaining such popularity among Western fans. And, and that's the same thing with the UFC. The UFC is having it. It's, I just think it's growing pains. Um, but I think people that do know a lot more, there's people, I mean, Loretto probably knows a hell of a lot more than I do. There's fans out there that know a lot more than me. Their Japanese is better. It's just, you know... You also have to, like, I don't know. It, it's weird, because, like, if you have knowledge, you should see, if you want New Japan to grow, you should be more like a teacher. It, it seems like people that have knowledge nowadays online use it as, you're an idiot, I'm an expert. And if you want the product you love to grow, it shouldn't be that way. But also, you get people that come in and be like, I wear Bullet Club shirts. And, you know, it, and it happens with the Chicago Bulls. It happens with the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Yankees. You just have people that buy popular stuff and don't know, you know, or don't watch it. You know, so you have phonies and you also have the fake experts. And I don't know. I think Internet uses the word expert way, way too much. I think it's insane. I just think people are like, I'm an expert, I'm an expert, I'm an expert. And I think we need less experts, less indie wrestlers, and more fans. I saw a comment earlier complaining about five-star culture amongst New Japan fans. Um, 
Yeah, what what it even is that? You're bitching about people enjoying things? I mean, really? Give me a break. Now, I, I, I agree with you, and I also disagree with you. That's where I'm coming from. Um, you don't want to be so delusional that you lie or you don't critique stuff. If you're a new fan, and you're like, wow, i never seen that before, and you got five stars. But I think there's also, you know, let people enjoy it, but also really critique it and review it and tell them when they do something wrong. Um, give me a break. Sure, it'd be cool if newer fans also aware we appreciate the history of New Japan and the vast array of other wrestling available from um, Japan in order to put their ratings in some larger context. But whenever you like it or not, New Japan is the most accessible, accessible and most readily available and quite likely the most um, pal palatable. I'm sorry, I missed up that form of Japanese wrestling to Western viewers. Yeah, with, without a doubt. And not even that, but in, in Japan, you know, in Japan, I live in Japan, and it's hard to keep up. If you have a job, if you have a family, it's hard to keep up. There's so much Japanese pro wrestling, it can be overwhelming. Um, and I'll let, but if New Japan does well, there's two things. It opens up Dragon Gate. It opens up Pro Wrestling Noah. It opens up other ideas. You know, the, um, the Tanahashi always winning when he aggravates fans. That's leading to a lot of new pro wrestling Noah fans. Um, you know, there's Dragon Gate, which is really, really exciting. And you know, I don't know. I don't watch all Japan. <laughs> I need, I feel a little guilty about that. But yeah, it, it just opens it up. But yeah, I think we should let New Japan open the door for everybody and make it better. Secondly, there's this idea that people shouldn't express their fandom by creating fan sites, writing articles, and addressing their voice to grow a pool of English uh, language pro rest coverage unless they fully uh, versed in the entire um, uh, uh, overview of Japanese wrestling. And I, I, I totally agree with this because it's the, you have to be an expert and it's weird because like people see themselves as experts and not fans anymore. Like I'm sure I messed up 90 times during this show and other people will mess up 800 times and you can be passionate, and you can have disagreements. I think it's the age of everyone, I have to be right. I have to yell at my at my opponent. I have to prove them wrong. And it's just, no, learn stuff from each other and review stuff. I, I find it amazing, you know, um, that there's people out there just doing English reviews, and they're, they're slowly but surely building up a uh, thing. But I also think there's also a thing of, you know, People will do it, like, especially in commenters, they're like, oh, well, if you write a comment about New Japan Wrestling, you're a genius. But if you turn on a camera or an audio podcast, you're an idiot. And it's just like, no, let people enjoy, let people speak their mind. I just think it's, once again, he says it's ridiculous, but I think it's more of, more of people deeming that they are experts and their style of even reporting on it is right. And I, I think, no, you don't have to be an expert. Just talk about it. Have fun. Have passion. Have a thing. I see YouTube and online as a huge pro rest bar. You're not going to go to someone that has a different opinion or, you know, messed up and be a complete fucking prick to them like you would online. I try to make a rule where how I talk to people online is the same way I talk to them if I met them in person. And I'm a bit of an asshole, I'm a bit loud, I'm a bit excitable, so I just think, yeah, let people do it. I mean, I find it amazing. It's weird, because the same people are like, oh, no one talks about New Japan. Oh, man, no one covers New Japan. These fucking idiots are covering New Japan, and they don't know jack shit. It's like, you gotta have it one way or the other. And it's just an open conversation. But yeah, I, I agree, and... There's just so much. And then he plugs a bunch of people on the forums and how much it's changed. Um, there's room for every everyone of all levels of experience to share their opinions. And while I wholeheartedly agree that research and preparation is a must when writing about such a rich and detailed subject, the information isn't always the easiest to obtain. And I'll let but no. Like, I just think there's a conversation. Like, I, I think people... Like... If someone didn't know, like, let's let's just pick All Japan. I don't know much about All Japan. I don't probably know that much to a lot of these people's standards about New Japan. 
But if you go to a bar and someone says something and they're wrong, you would just correct them. It's just weird how obsessed we are with experts and all that. And you can't have it both ways. MMA and UFC have a huge problem with this. And now New Japan is... I just think it's growing pains. And it just picture, like, how they just saw this problem is, get solved. And be passionate. Have fun. Yell. Scream. Say who sucks. Say who's better. But at the same time, treat other people as if you were really meeting them in person. Um, and, yeah, just... Go, and if you have knowledge, share it. If you know more than me, share it. If you know less than me, give your opinion. You know, you don't have to be an expert to give an opinion. And I think nowadays everyone acts like an expert because they're like, if I'm not an expert, no one's going to listen to my opinion. And that's why we always say we're Coco Sports, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. Um, so, yeah, and none of that, but they have to start somewhere. You started somewhere, and I started somewhere, and none of that, but... I have so many Japanese friends that know so much more about Japanese pro wrestling than I ever will. And you just go and pick their brain and learn and have a conversation with them. So, so many people bashing sites and other fans are doing their best to provide coverage on commentary on the Japanese wrestling scene is just sad and disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I agree with it, and I think everyone should review it. I just don't want to fall for that trap of TNA fans where TNA fans have a problem where they don't mention stuff that's wrong with the product, or they make excuses for what's wrong with the product. Um, just, you know, have fun. Enjoy it, but be honest. I think a lot of people are so worried about being experts that they stop being honest. Too often people seem to forget that um, constructive part of constructive criticism, and instead of coming across or helpful, they only come across as elitist, snobbish, and just plain rude. It's no use uh, scoffing at someone's work because they were uninformed or because their opinion was based on only a few years of following Japanese wrestling or because they only focused their fandom on one specific promotion. If you aren't offering your criticism in a constructive and civilized manner, then you really aren't helping anyone. At least at all, uh, le oh, sorry, least of all the person who views who had a problem with it in the first place. So yeah, and it's just. Be friendly, be honest, be passionate, but at the same time realize that different people have it at different places, and yeah, and like, and everyone learns something different. Like, you know, there might be a fan that been watching it way longer than me. There might be a fan that knows more about certain wrestlers than me. But you know, I go to the events live. I go to the pro wrestling bars. I read the Japanese blog. So like, everyone has something different to bring, and that's what you want in a conversation. I just think we live in a world of experts. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe. I hope Loretto doesn't hate me too much, but I just found this to be really interesting, especially in Twitter. And, uh, all right, Baby Leo wants to say hello. Baby Leo is an expert. Come on in. No, no, nothing. All right, Monte, I'm going to be done in like five seconds. All right, Taiko, just wait. All right, speaking, speaking of Japanese experts, I'm going to go be an expert at a Japanese festival. Please check out um, Coco Sports. Also, like, comment, subscribe. And sorry this wasn't live. Um, just we had some technical issues with the computer that I'll be fixing. And, um, yeah, I got to go to a Japanese festival. Did I say like, comment, subscribe? With that, I am over. Bum, 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 bum.